Hi, my Hi. name is Shireen. I'm the pharmacist here today. How can I help you? I came to pick up a prescription. Okay, and is the prescription for yourself or for someone else? It's for me. Okay, and may I have your name? Goldie Rush. Okay. All right, Goldie, so it looks like this prescription is new today. Do you have a couple minutes for me to talk to you about it before you walk away? Yes. Okay, go ahead and have a seat there. Okay, Ms. Rush, so this medication is for a new prescription. I just wanted to take the time to explain it to you so that you're comfortable walking away with it today, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, what did the doctor tell you this medication is going to be for? Um, it's to help if I feel nauseous after my chemotherapy. Uh-huh, okay. And how did the doctor tell you to take this medication? Well, normally I would take my Zofran first. Uh -huh. And if it doesn't work, then I can take one of those. Okay. And what did the doctor tell you to expect from this medication? That it would help with nauseousness if I feel I even need it. Okay, and what concerns do you have about the medication right now? Um, none, I just have to wait and see what happens. Okay, well absolutely, so this medication, it is called Copzine. Doctor is prescribing for you a 10 milligram tablet. As you mentioned, this medication is used for nausea. Mm -hmm. So I know with that chemotherapy, it's probably making you feel not the best, right? I haven't started, uh, start Monday. Okay, so you start Monday, and I'm sure you may have some worries about that. I just wanted to let you know that I want to be included as part of your support group, okay? okay? So if you were to need anything, please feel free to reach out to me and I'll make sure you have my business card before you leave, okay? Okay. I understand it can be a, a tough time, but I want to be part of the people that can help you get through today, okay? Oh, all right. Okay. Thank you. Of course. So now this medication is called Compazine. The doctor wants you to take one tablet three to four times a day as you feel you need it, okay? Chemotherapy may start to feel, make you feel a little bit nauseous, but this medication will be a great go-to for you so that hopefully we can catch that nausea before it makes you feel bad. Okay. Okay. Now, um, as we said, it is a 10 milligram tablet to be taken three to four times a day. You can use it along with the Zofran that you're already taking. So, looks like you have a prescription for the Zofran. I do. Okay, and if you feel that you were to need both of them and the nausea is getting really bad, feel free to use both medications together. Okay. Okay. Now, in terms of the medications that you have on the list here, I see you're starting two new medications for the chemotherapy, as well as that on Dancitron. Are you taking any other medications outside of those? No. Okay. Okay, great. Now, in terms of storage of this medication, where are you thinking about storing this one at home? Kitchen cabinet. Okay, that's a great place for it to be. Yeah, so as soon as you start to feel any nausea, you can go ahead and grab it from the kitchen cabinet. You can take this medication with food or with water. I know sometimes if you're feeling nauseous, you may not want to put too much food in your body, so taking it with water would be just fine. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now, this medication is taken as needed, but if you were to miss a dose on this medication, what would you think you'd like to do? Take a pill when I remember? Absolutely. So take it as soon as you remember. It is a great idea. Okay. Okay. What questions do you have about the medication so far? None. I okay. just have to wait and see what happens. Okay. And there is one side effect that is not very common, but I just want to let you know about it. It can cause you to feel a little bit dizzy or a little drowsy. So I would recommend that you take this medication in your home for the first time, just to make sure you can kind of assess how it's making you feel before you start driving or doing anything like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, what questions do you have about the medication now that I can answer for you? None. Okay. And can you teach me how you're going to use this medication at home just to make sure I've covered everything? So, three to four times a day mm -hmm. if I feel nauseous mm -hmm. and with food or water. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And storage, where are you thinking about storing it? The kitchen cabinet. Okay. Absolutely. And in terms of missing a dose, what do you think you'd want to do? If, when I remember, go ahead and take one. Absolutely so. Absolutely so. And so I know cancer can be a little bit of a, a journey that may be a little difficult. We do have a support group here right next to the pharmacist and I can walk you over to the leader of that support group who can help you kind of sit with some other patients who are in the same boat as you. Hopefully that'll help relieve some of the anxiety you may feel about that. I would also love to be a part of this process. So what I've done is I've actually created a medication guide for you today to make sure that you have all the information that we talked about. Okay. And I'd also like to include my business card in case you were to need anything, you just wanted an ear to listen to you, I would be more than happy to take that call for you, okay? Okay. Okay. Thank you so much, Ms. Russ, today, and I hope you have a great day. Let me know how it goes on Monday, okay? I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you. Thank you.